Hi, this is Mauro from Primfotech.com and on this video we are going to go through the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 with the April 2019 update, also known as a version 1903. A clean installation is just a way to erase everything on your computer and installing a fresh copy of Windows 10. This will not only help you to avoid upgrade problems, but you will start with a new installation which can improve system performance and fix existing issues. However, keep in mind that a clean installation deletes everything on your computer, so always create a full backup before proceeding. You can check the video description below to find the link to a video with the steps to do a full backup of your device and additional information such as the release date on when you can download this update. In this tutorial, I'll be using the media creation tool to create a USB bootable media to install Windows 10 version 1903. You can get the media creation tool from this Microsoft support website. You can find the link in the video description below. To get it started, click the download tool now button. Once the file finishes downloading, open your download folder and double click the file to start the tool. Click Accept to continue. Select the Create Installation Media for another PC option and click Next. If you're going to be using, the Media Creation tool can detect the language edition and architecture that you need to install Windows 10 on the computer that you're downloading the software. But if you're preparing a USB media to install Windows 10 on a device that uses a different edition, architecture, or language, make sure to uncheck this option and select the options that you need and then click Next. At this time, it's a good idea to connect the USB drive, select the USB option, and click Next. Select the USB drive that you want to use, and make sure that this drive has at least a gigabyte of space, and also make sure that you back up any content already in this device, because this process will erase everything on this USB drive. Click Next, and then the Media Creation tool will proceed to download and create a bootable media in the USB drive. Once the media has been created, click the Finish button, keep the USB connected, and reboot your computer. Also, it is important to make sure that your PC can boot from USB. Usually, to boot your computer from USB, you need to change the BIOS or UEFI settings, which is pretty much different on every device. So, make sure that you check your PC manufacturer support website for more details. However, typically, you can access these settings by pressing one of the function buttons, like F. 2, F10, and F12, delete key or escape keys on your keyboard during boot. Once your computer boots up in the Windows Setup Experience, click Next. Click the Install Now button. If Windows 10 was already installed and properly activated, you don't need to enter a product key. After the installation, Windows 10 will reactivate automatically. To continue, click the I don't have a product key option. If you see this prompt, select the edition of Windows 10 previously installed on your computer. In this case, I had Windows 10 Pro. Now click Next. Click this option to accept the license terms and click Next. Select the custom option to do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the April 2019 update. Now select the drive that you want to install Windows 10. If you have multiple partitions on the same drive, you can click each one and click the Delete button. Deleting all the partitions allows you to have a single unallocated space to let Windows 10 create a single big partition for the new installation. Just remember that removing the partitions will also delete any data stored on them. Also remember that you only need to remove the partitions on the hard drive that you want to install Windows 10. If you have multiple hard drives, you don't need to delete those partitions. Finally, click Next to start installing a fresh copy of Windows 10 with the April 2019 update on your computer. And now we're going to go through the Autobox experience to finish setting up the installation. One thing you will notice right away is that starting with the April 2019 update, Cortana is no longer part of the experience, so you can just dive into the experience to finish setting up your installation. Select your region and click Yes. Select your keyboard layout and click Yes. I do not need to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm going to click Skip. Select the Setup for Personal Use option and click Next. To create a Windows 10 account, we're going to be using a Microsoft account. So here, enter your email address, phone, or Skype ID. If 
If you don't want to use a Microsoft account, make sure to click the offline account and continue that way. Once you enter your Microsoft account information and click next. Enter the password for your Microsoft account. If you don't remember your password and you're using the Microsoft Authenticator app, you can click that option right here and that will send you an authorization code to your phone. And once you accept that, you will be able to continue with the steps. Once you enter the password or authenticate it with the uh, Microsoft Authenticator app, click next. Instead of typing my password, I'm going to be using the Microsoft Authenticator app. So I'm going to click that option. And now on my phone, I'm going to approve the sign-in. And that's it. Now I'm going to create a pin. So I don't have to use any complicated password to sign in to Windows 10. Once you set up your pin, click the OK button. If you want to use Timeline across devices, you need to allow Windows 10 to collect your activity history and sync it across devices. If that's something that you don't want to use, you can click no. But in this case, I'm going to click yes. You can also link your phone to your PC to access other features, but that is something that you can do later. So I'm going to click the Do Later button. I want to use OneDrive on this PC, so I'm just going to leave the option as it is, and I'm going to click Next. Here you can allow Cortana to respond to the Hey Cortana voice command, and if you're okay using Cortana on your device, click the set button. Last but not least, make sure to set your privacy settings. All the settings are enabled by default, but if there is something that you don't like, like if you want to prevent Windows 10 from knowing your location, you can turn that off. And as you disable the option, you will get a description of what will happen if you disable that option. I'm just going to leave all the default settings and I'm going to click the Accept button to continue. Once you're back into the desktop, remember to check for updates, reinstall applications, and restore your files from backup. Here is a quick tip. If you want to know if you're running the April 2019 update, one quick way to do it is just to lock your PC When you're trying to sign in, you see this blur in the background. Then you're running the April 2019 update or version 1903 because this is a feature only available on the latest version of Windows 10. And that's how you do a clean installation of Windows 10 with the April 2019 update or version 1903. Please make sure to check the video notes for important information such as the release date on when you can download this feature update on your computer and more information. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.